Hello, and in this video, we will go over importing data from ArcGIS Online, otherwise known as AGOL, into ArcGIS Pro. So first off, to get started, you will see that I have opened my desired Arc Pro project, and also I am signed in. Since we'll be accessing AGOL, we need to make sure we are signed in so we will have permission to see the data. Okay, so to add data, we'll make sure we're here in the Map tab, and then we'll choose the Add Data button. And now here under Portal, we'll see several different options. So since I was the one that added these Test, Plot, and Stand layers, in ArcGIS Online, you will, I will see them here under My Content. The data you're looking for may be in a different location for you, depending on where your data was stored in ArcGIS Online. So potentially it could be in a group, or if your coworker uploaded it, it could be under My Organization. Something here to note is here you can see the sharing type. So since this has this little building symbol, that is sharing level organization. That could be a good clue as to uh, who the data is shared with. If you're not seeing expected data here under the portal, it could mean that the sharing settings in AGOL are not set up correctly. Please head to arcgis.com to adjust those settings if needed. Also, you may need to contact your GIS administrator if that is someone who can help you with the level of sharing. Okay, so now to import the stand data, I'm going to double click on it and then click on test stands and choose okay. And now I'm going to add the, or I'm sorry, I'm going to click the add data button again, go to test plots, double click Click on Test Plots and choose OK. All right, something we might want to review is the projection of the layers. So first, let's start with a map. So my map here is just called Template. So if I go here to Template, highlight that, right click and choose Properties. I can go here to coordinate system and I can see my current coordinate system. Make adjustments as needed and then choose OK. So let's review it for the stands. So I'm going to click on the stands. Then I'm going to right click, choose properties. And then here under source, we can see the URL. So this is where the data is being accessed from. And note it is a feature class. So if we come down here to spatial reference, we can choose the drop down and we can see the projection here. Once that has been reviewed, click OK. We can do the same thing for test plots. So I'll highlight that layer, right click properties. Here is that URL spatial reference. And here is that projection. I'll choose OK. And then one more quick thing, if we need to change symbology, you can double click here on that symbol. If we go here to gallery, we can click on a symbol. And then here under properties, we can make any adjustments. So here under size, maybe I want to shrink that down. I can click apply. And that is the quick way to adjust your symbology. Once you are done adding, you may want to save your project. Okay, and that is how you add data from AGOL. We hope you found this video helpful, and thank you for watching.